Hey everyone, my name's Aldos, and today I'm doing a quick follow-up video on my Taobao ordering process. If you missed part one on actually setting up your account and finding the items that you're looking for and going about the purchasing process, click the card in the top right and I will explain everything and get you to this part, this process here. This video is showcasing part two, the actual batching of your items and getting them to ship overseas to you in the United States first okay so once you go to the main page of Taobao.com you're going to see a couple different things um, first off I see myself and my account located right here and it does look like there is something new for me and so what I'm going to do is just kind of click on my account for a second see what news it has for me okay so what it's bringing me to is just a little page that it tells me where things are, what orders are inbound, outbound, and whatnot, and set to be delivered. So I've got this one right here with the three parts that I ordered. I've got the Apollo pump grip right there. I've got the handle, the, the priming handle that way. I also decided to go with one of the little add-on Picatinny rails for it, and that is my total right there, and it's including the shipping costs that it, it charged me in order to get these items into the same warehouse. You will know if you are ready to actually go about batching them and sending them overseas because this thing right here is going to alert you and let you know that they are there they are they've been received and they're ready to go and so again I'm going to click on this order you might have a series of multiple orders from different companies in which case they will all be listed here and you all want to send them all overseas this is my previous order right here that I, I did and I did successfully receive it afterwards and so this is my most recent one that I'm looking at so I've got that one selected and I'm going to go about the process of paying for the shipping overseas. Okay, so now that we're on this screen, again, these are orders to be shipped. You've got this one here. This uh, was what I was explaining in my part one video, the item that actually never went through and I was never able to order. It said it was an abnormal package. And for whatever reason, I, I lost that money. Again, uh, I explain all the, the things to do in, uh, in part one. Right now, I'm only looking at this order. It's the only one that I can actually go through and uh, go about uh, paying for. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one and I'm going to go ahead and go through the process of paying the 110 Chinese dollars for shipping. Up here under this black box it's just going to ask you to confirm your uh, where you want it delivered to. Mine looks okay. It will also explain what the weight is right now. The entire weight of this is 0.682 kilograms, so I could have actually ordered something else and still been under that one kilogram weight limit. Otherwise, the second you start getting into more uh, or anything past one kilogram, you're starting to talk about extra cost for shipping. Um, right now, 110 covers up to one kilogram, and so we could have actually added in some more items um, and still paid the same amount for shipping, but I'm fine with what I've had. I've got here I'm gonna go about the process of actually ordering it so I'm gonna click down going to click the orange button once again it's gonna bring me back to that payment service I'm not entirely sure why it brings us to a separate page I don't know if it's a, a, a contract that they have you're gonna go about the process of doing the same exact confirmation that you did before it's once again charging us a service fee so this one is 3.3 Chinese dollars again I don't know uh, what the conversion for that is but it's not a significant amount and so you go ahead and uh, do the process of validating the card that you have on file once you have everything confirmed you click the blue button to confirm it finalize the payment process and boom once again if you see this screen right here this is just the confirmation screen that's going to let you know yes indeed you've paid the the amount that is agreed upon for shipping overseas and it will go about the ordering process uh, tracking can be relatively challenging um, if you go uh, back to Taobao homepage I believe the tab that I used is always the logistics tab and again once you wait for Google to 
translate everything. I believe it's the logistics tracking page that you will go to in order to actually track your package. If for whatever reason it's not listed here and helping you understand where it's going and where it's been and whatnot, you can also go to the uh, the courier's website. So in my case, I'm using the Jiacheng UPS system. I can actually go to that, get the um, the Wayfair code from this this page right here, and use that to track my package. So right now, I've gotten this. It's sending. It's on its way over to me, and I don't know entirely how long it will take. Last time, it took about a week, and so we'll see for this one. But uh, as for right now, that's it. And uh, again, thanks for thanks for following through. I hope this was helpful to you, and I will see you in the next video.